Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Taking the coat off because I've been warned we're not only gonna do science, we're gonna apparently do messy science. We've got Victoria, we've got Julie from Let's Talk Science. You guys are part of an organization that uh, goes to kids' schools and kids' groups and teaches kids uh, fun ways to learn about science. What kind of stuff do you guys teach them? Uh, we teach them on various topics in science, from chemistry, biology, the works, all, everything. Everything. And yeah. we're going to learn, uh, was it primarily chem chemistry today? Yes, primarily chemistry. What are we doing first, mud or, or swirl? So we're first going to do this milky swirl activity. Okay. Um, Is this we, the messy one? Uh, no, not no, yet. No. That's not the <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we have two types of milk here. We have 0% milk and whipping cream. And do you know the difference between the two of them? Uh, I'm going to say, is it the, is it the milk fat? Because this one says 35, yes, this one says basically. 0. basically. Yeah. Okay. So this has a lot of fat in here. So what I need you to do is I need you to take a couple, put in a couple drops of food coloring okay. in here. Going pink, I like that. Yeah, there you go. Good. Okay, so uh, what I need you to do next is take the Q-tip right. and just chop it, um, like mix it into the soap there. Okay. All right. Sort of like and I'm get a big gob on there? Big, get, big, big, get a big gob, yeah. So More food coloring? There right. you go, yeah. So what I'm going to have you do next is I'm going to have you dip that soap and kind of tap it in the center of the food coloring for me okay. and see what happens. Okay. And kind of like swirl it around. All right. There you go. So what's basically happening here right now is uh, the fat particles in the soup. It's like very like colorful and swirly, right? Yeah. So um, the fat particles, it's basically interacting with the molecules in the fat of the milk. So what I'm not gonna have you do next now, okay? okay so I'm gonna uh, have you put that down. Get rid of that one? Okay. Yes, okay, so now take that Q-tip. Okay. And I'm gonna put a few food colorings in here. This is a 0% milk. Less milk fat. Yes, okay. less milk fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple Soap drops. On there. Okay, so right. right when I give you the cue, okay. well, I'm gonna go have cue. you, yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of more food colorings in here for you. Because that one's got like lumps in it. And yeah, it does. In it. It's a really fatty, right? Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh. All right, so when you're ready, you can go ahead and tap onto the food coloring and look at that. Oh, the way it just dissipates. Yeah, and now go ahead and press another, tap onto another color. Make any more glue. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, some some more soap. soap. More soap, there you go. Yeah. So what's basically happening here is um, there's less fat particles, so the particles in the soap, it has more. T it has a lot of um, room to basically move around, and that just teaches uh, what the particle theory of matter is. The particle theory, theory of, of matter, matter explained yeah. with low fat milk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fascinating stuff. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that was really, really neat. Can you mm -hmm. top that? Uh, I hope so. Okay, <laughs> but it's going to be messy, right? So I'm going to take the, take the jewelry off. Yeah. Oh, and you have your uh, sleeves rolled up, that's good. Okay, good. <laughs> so, uh, the milk is actually something called a colloid mixture. A colloid mixture. Yes. Okay. So that leads us to our magic mud, because magic mud is also a colloid mixture. All right. Okay. So, a colloid mixture has a liquid portion and a solid portion. And the solid portion actually doesn't dissolve in the liquid. It evenly spreads out in the liquid and is suspended in the liquid. Okay. Okay, so what we have here it, for our solid portion is cornstarch and our liquid portion is water. So the cornstarch is actually so fine that it doesn't dissolve in the water. It's just evenly spread out and it's suspended in the water. And because it's colloid, it makes it turns into magic. Yeah, so actually because the, the cornstarch doesn't dissolve in the water, it actually acts as both a solid and a liquid at the same time. Can I, can I get in there? Yeah, go ahead. So Actually, what I would like you to do first is sure. poke the surface. Ew! So as you can see, it's kind of a solid. Yeah. If it's a liquid, your finger would go straight through, right? But it kind of holds on like a liquid does. Yeah. Oh, and oh, if you push hard enough. Yeah, you, your hand would sink through. That's awesome. So, so what you do with kids is, I can't even, you can't grab it because it's yeah. a liquid, Actually, but you can can't... You, can you make a ball for me? I can try. Get your hands in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's, it's a solid. It's a solid, but, but a liquid. But then now spread your hands out. At and the it same would, time. It would turn into a liquid and it drip down. So what's happening right now is actually you're giving time for the particles to spread out evenly over your hands, and so it turns into a liquid. So we call it magic mud, but in science it's a colloid mixture. Yes. Look at that, you learned something right then and there, and you got to be messy at the time. And you're right, it, I should have, I'm glad I took my jewelry out. <laughs> uh, you're going to find all the information on Let's Talk Science and how to do these things at home on breakfasttelevision.ca, a couple of simple products, and your kids can be learning. All the links and all the info on breakfasttelevision.ca. Now let's check on weather conditions. Looking for a handshake. Here's Jenna.